Okay, bonjour tout le monde. I'm here with Deja Leger, and we're going to do St. Adele's Reel. It's a great tune from Vivian Williams, who learned it from the Canadian fiddler in Washington State, Joe Panzerchevsky. One, two, three. <laughs> St. Adele's Reel. Well, this one's in honor of Vivian Williams. She just passed away recently, and uh, she was a huge part of the Northwest Pacific Northwest folk traditions, and she left a really big legacy. I thought it would be nice to call attention to her record label, record label Voyager Recordings. Amazing record label she did with her husband, Phil, um, and they basically went around and recorded all these different traditions in Washington State and in Oregon and places that people didn't really look for folk traditions. They figured the West Coast was too new, too recent. There weren't a lot of old, cool traditions. It wasn't like Appalachia. You know, there's a lot of, I think there was a lot of feeling among folklorists that the Northwest wasn't the spot for interesting traditions. And they proved everyone wrong. They did great work with the North Carolina Tar Hill community in Darrington and found amazing old Appalachian ballads still out there. Um, there was a Hawaiian fiddler that they wrote about in Washington State, and lots of French stuff as well. The Jerry, I, I did a tune off of a Jerry Roby show LP that they recorded. He was a New Brunswick Acadian fiddler, really important source. Uh, they were responsible for the Louis Pito, Pito Boudreau album, which was huge in Quebec for the Quebec folk revival. They had their, they just had their interest in all kinds of fiddling and had good taste. And Vivian was a marvelous fiddler. So I was going to do this tune anyways, because I really liked Joe Pantrachevsky's version of it, and I liked the tune a lot. But then I saw Cameron DeWitt's uh, Get Up in the Cool with Vivian, and remembered how great a fiddler she was, and that she played this tune as well. So I'll see if I can include that in here somehow, or at least a link to hear her playing it. But I'm going to do, I'll do a little bit now from Joe Pantrachevsky. So he, this is the fiddling engineer, Voyager Recordings. So it was recorded in Seattle, probably. I wonder if it says. No, it doesn't say. Well, anyways, Joe Pantrachevsky was, he, I guess he wasn't Canadian. He was born in North Dakota. I always think of him as Canadian because most of his repertoire was Canadian. He kind of came out of the Canadian fiddling world. Him and a number of other fiddlers in the Northwest had strong Canadian fiddling roots. So I always think of him as Canadian, but I guess he's American. Um, and his albums are all over Northwest record shops. And they, funny enough, they're always addressed to a, a, a woman, presumably a young fan in the folk revival. It's always a different woman. This one says... To Fran, best witches, Joe Pantrachevsky, uh, what's that, August 14th, 1976. And he's got three other women written down here, too. So I don't know if he was going to cross out Fran and put the other ones in. I don't know. But there's always some kind of dedication on these in the record shops. And I always, I never can resist buying them. So I have a pretty good collection of Joe Pantrachevsky Voyager Recordings albums. But let's hear St. Adele's reel from him and hear what it sounds like. He's a great fiddler. Here we go.
What a fun fiddler. So that's Joe Pantrachevsky playing Saint Adele's Reel. So the tune, if you look it up online, it's a little bit misspelled the way he had it. And the correct spelling sources it back to Andy DeJarlis, who was a great Canadian Métis fiddler, one of the huge Canadian fiddle stars of the of the 20th century. Um, so it, we all, I kind of thought it came from DeJarlis, and from DeJarlis went to Don Messer, became part of the Down East repertoire, and then came to Joe. But it says here in the liner notes that Joe picked up this tune in Canada in the 20s. So I actually think it's an old French-Canadian reel. It sounds French-Canadian to me, very French-Canadian. The name is French-Canadian, references a French-Canadian village, possibly, in Quebec. So it's pretty clear to me that this is an old French-Canadian tune from Canada that kind of just filtered through a lot of uh, uh, Western Canadian fiddlers. So saint Adele's reel, and I'll put links in the video, too, so you can hear Andy DeJarlis' version of it, because that's a little bit different than Pantrachevsky's version, and then, of course, Vivian Williams' version as well. And now let's try it slow. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to break down Saint Adele's Adel reel, and I'll kind of show you the different parts of it. I'll play it slow, and then I'll show you some of the ornaments. It's a tune that's based on a couple ornaments that make it really fun. So let's give it a try. I'll go nice and slow. Slower. heavy on the scales. right here to really a key one right there it's kind of a hammer on hear that you can also do a kind of more fancy ornament is Jarvis plays it a little more simply. Just 
just like that. Second part. That's a nice, real hard hammer on. That's kind of Irish. Lots of neat ornaments you can do. Great tune.